Some say that the Google Now of app launchers has arrived. This is Victor with Phone Arena with a quick review of Aviate, an app just recently purchased by Yahoo that some say is indeed the Google Now of app launchers. It, Yahoo paid a whopping $80 million for this application and free app launcher right now available on Google Play for free and registration is open for everyone with the code Yahoo. So what's it all about? It's a contextual time and location aware app launcher that changes by the time and your place of course, looks different in different conditions. Aviate for Android, let's take a look at what it's all about. Aviate is a time and location aware launcher and it sounds a lot like Google Now to us. Actually, we'd call Aviate the Google Now of Android app launchers. It features one dynamically changing main home panel called Spaces. There's a second one with your collections of apps and a third one that is an alphabetical list of all your installed applications. And the last one is with all your settings and nearby places. Actually, it's the first and the last one that are the bread and butter of AV8 as these are the ones that you'd be using most often. The Spaces home panel is what you see after you unlock your phone and it changes with time and location. You have three main spaces, home, work and travel. In the morning, it shows you your alarms and schedule for the day. And if you unlock your phone at work, it detects that and it will put email and calendar on the forefront. And when you travel, it automatically changes to show you traffic and directions. Finally, at night, it will conveniently allow you to set up your alarm for the next day. You can also swipe down on each space to reveal neat hidden options. And swiping to the right brings up settings and a list of nearby places. Tapping on one of those nearby places actually opens a fourth contextual space where you can check in and learn more about that location and that's a nice touch. Right to the spaces home panel is the collection screen. It's a, similar to an app drawer but it shows you just relevant apps for your time and place ordered in categories that are called collections. For instance, you have collections of calendar and email apps under the work category or media apps or other collections. Actually, there are around 20 collections that uh, Aviate has pre-populated for you to use. Now, one more swipe and you get to the full app drawer. Instead of collections that doesn't show you all your apps, here you have all of your installed applications in alphabetical order so you can easily find them. While other app launchers are known to give you even more freedom in terms of customization and additional settings, Aviate is different. Yes, you do have a light and a dark theme and the dark is better if you use the launcher at, ni at night and that's a plus, but you don't have the customization richness, the live wallpapers, any wallpapers for that matter. No flexibility to rearrange icons, no folders, no widgets, just a limited amount of widgets. It's an artificially imposed limit that makes the whole experience feel a bit claustrophobic. And the fact that even some of the built-in widgets are cumbersome does not help. For instance, the photo widget simply puts a static photo on your home space and it does not even rotate it over time, but it is what it is, take it or leave it. All in all, Aviate is about simplicity and getting rid of clutter. Minimalists will love it. It brings relevant information in a clean and modern interface. It's not perfect though, we feel that the lack of proper customization options is a huge downside. We're still using Aviate after a few days and we cannot say it hinders the Android experience, actually we like it for what it is, but sadly we cannot fall in love with it and we still feel the need to go back to the freedom of a less limiting skin or launcher.